You're now locked onto the Pulse Radio Show with Marcus Myers, X Tina, and Ken Pyle. And on the one and twos, Big Red the DJ. It's the Pulse Radio Show, baby. Believe that. That's the theme song, that's the theme song. That is the theme song, we're out of my mind, really, yeah. really. I'm not gonna explain why in a minute. So we got Marcus Myers, Mr. Research and some sense. How are you doing tonight, Marcus? Man, you know I'm feeling You know this moment is a moment that we've been working for for a very long time. I'm very glad to see you here with us. You stuck it through, and we're here. Hot 95.3 I... in association with Cave Shepherd. Also got to shout out to Broad Street Men's and Women's Designer Wear for making all of this possible. This is the Pulse Radio Show. Uh, precisely, and that's where we want to start. Let's start. No, let, let, let's get real now. Me, you, and Ken went into Broad Street Men's today, right? I, this there was that one realization that I had when I went in there that I realized that you know all the clothes I think I've got at home, I really ain't got as much clothes as I as I want. <laughs> right? When I went inside the, the, the how should I say the plethora of things that they had, right? The wide assortment of colors they had, right? The myriad of things that they had there, right? You understand what I'm saying? You should see right? what you right, right, right. <laughs> the The plethora of things that were there. No, really, I, I went inside and I said, well, and and any, if anybody knows me, I'm not the most um fashion savvy person. Right? I got a little fashion. Uh, fashion I will say so. I got a little you ain't here looking snazzy, snazzy, snazzy. Shout out to my mother, Rosanne Myers, anyway. <laughs> <all> right. <laughs> right, so, so I went in and I, and I, I asked for um, some, some help and I spoke to a gentleman named Ovid. Ovid, sorry. Ovid, yeah. Ovid, yeah. Ovid was helpful. He showed me around. He showed me all of the Ralph Lauren polo shirts. He showed me shorts. He showed me shoes. There was, there was clothes for every single occasion. And I know that you and Ken can attest to that. So really and truly, that is the place to be for summer. Get your clothes now. The shorts, the shoes. I saw belts. I saw um, caps. I saw hats. I saw everything that I could want. I saw hoodies. I mean, anything that you want, you will leave there with clothes for at least six months. Easy, easy, easy six months. As for Ovid, you got six months of clothes. <laughs> easy. Shout right? out to Mr. Husbands as well, as well as Mrs. Jan Husbands, yeah? Precisely. Just making it all possible. So we start right. some sense, though. Exactly. So in order to be in these clothes, you have to fit in them, right? And this is what I want to talk about today. Right. Um, we have to mention that uh, summer is coming up. People are thinking about summer bodies. Well, I want to... Talk about this. There was a Health of the Nation study that came out in 2016, and it found that 66% of Bajans are overweight, and 33% of those are obese. So I mean that alone. So, well, well, you, you know what? You, you said two different things just now, uh, right. Marcus. So you don't have to define the difference between being overweight and being obese. Well, okay. Well, the thing is, is that overweight more means I guess is not necessarily as um, a risk to your health per se, but it is over the desired weight that I guess the doctor would recommend. Obesity is not a problem where you would say you don't have a risk of heart disease, you have risks of you know diabetes, hypertension, etc. So I think that is more where the differentiation is, right? Obesity is more of the issue than, than being overweight, but even so, it's an issue, right? And so it makes you wonder why. And they found in this study that 70% of school children in Barbados drink soft drinks every single day. And I know a lot of people may be like, that doesn't really sound like anything big, but if you drink a soft drink every day for a year, you could get up to 10 to 15 pounds. So we are talking about a serious issue that we're having in Barbados. And if we want to get ready for these summer bodies and everything, we need to think about that. I think we're changing our lifestyles from here, right? This is the time now, say it's, it's, it's March now. By May, you, you know, you could be in Cape Shepherd getting a medium as opposed to an extra large. You understand what I'm saying? Um, also, I said the highest, that Barbados has the highest rate of obesity in Latin America and the Caribbean. Uh, this was done um, by the Pan Panorama of Barbados and Nutrition Security in Latin America and Caribbean Study 2016. So they also found a different um, uh, different statistic that four in 10 Bajans are obese. And of course, that is the most in the Latin America um, countries and the Caribbean. So that is definitely an issue that we need to take. Yeah. You drink alcohol? Drinking, when I say drinking, I mean waters. You know? <laughs> you know, with a bit of pinch of lime. So, yeah. you don't have a Brita filter at home that you can just drink water. What what? But that's a very good point. So, let's go back to the discussion. Wait, yeah, but that's a very good point. I'm just feeling your language. Right. No, 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 but you make a good point because in that same study, it found that 14% of Bajans admitted to binge drinking. 
So think about that. No, it'll be fine binge drinking for me. I, 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 but that's a little over my head. I'm not familiar with I don't think that's over your head at all, man. Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's, let's talk about how things are, you know. No, really. When you, when you go to a party, you're drinking, right? You take one beer, you take two beers, two beers, and then ten beers. You know how things are. But people don't call you the calories. Okay. You don't know. You don't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nah. Don't let me know. Don't let me know. That's what we do at Reno tonight, big right? You know, you know they drink specials will get you in trouble. They drink specials will get you in trouble. That's the thing. We drink specials. We get incentivized to drink. And we don't think about the calories. And it said 14% of beers admitted. I feel that the other 86% was lying. That's the truth. Because we know so many people that drink so much drink after drink after drink. And it's be like, you know, moderation. You have fun, but still moderation is key. Right? So that, that's one thing that I was thinking so, about. So what about the paradox of going to a crop, crop over event and drinking alcohol and then going to the gym the next day to work and keep <laughs> to maintain the body? That sounds like a paradox to me. It does sound like a paradox. I know on uh, oh flip that and I know the people that go to the gym and then go and eat KFC after. So yeah, I, I know that. <laughs> this is very melt. <laughs> this is very melt. <laughs> 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 First like you're like you're feeling a bit guilty there. Um <laughs> But, but it, somewhat. <laughs> this, here, this is a question I was I was asking my friend on the other day. I was asking if you see a friend getting a bit, you know, overweight. They getting getting a bit of size, right? Mm -hmm. the, the size is going up a bit. How you how do you break the news to them that you know? Because you don't want to be insensitive, but at the same time you don't want them to you know eat the weight into oblivion. Marcus, you know you're looking at a fat man, though. <laughs> 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 so to be precise. <laughs> Are true. These statistics obviously are true. <laughs> but yeah. But seriously though, seriously, you were asking. Right, I was asking, how do you break the news, to, especially to a sensitive friend? I know you maybe some of the ladies that may not want to. I maybe have to do it over drinks. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Yeah, by so the yeah, way. Boss. And the cycles, yeah, and the cycles yeah, yeah. and continue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see, I see a little, a little pouch there, bro. Uh, do something about that. Um, but yeah, so, so that is one thing that I was thinking about. Um, but I was also thinking about the fact, you know, summer bodies coming up. But let, let me ask you, uh, Marcus. This is a very, very interesting topic. It is very relevant to mm -hmm. any any aspect of society. Mm -hmm. What made you interested in this topic? I was interested in this topic because, um, well, I guess the ministry came to me and they were like, though, this is a message that the ministry being the ministry, the ministry of health, health yeah, okay. that this is an it, this is an issue that people don't really know how bad it is. They know that there, there's a the and Bajans, are, of course, they like the thicky sweets, right? We we, we like we like females thicky sweets, right, Sally? <laughs> we like our, we like our, you like some females to be, you know, you know, a bit, you know, I would say not plump, but I would say they're voluptuous. Like, voluptuous, right? <laughs> Thank you very much, Christina, for saving me. All right? Thank you very much for that. See what the team is for? But yeah, these voluptuous women, but at the same time, you have to think about what that comes with, these side effects. So they were telling me that, and they were telling me that this is a message that I don't think many Bajans really understand.